I just thought I'll fly there quick Wednesday, you know, spend a little time, see the game Saturday and get back to Austin. But about an hour into the flight, the plane literally just and you can see my hand motion. It just literally went down like as though the plane was not going to stop. This was the aftermath. Schmidt estimated the whole ordeal lasted a few minutes or more. She hit her head on the luggage compartment and afterwards had trouble moving her arm. There are no words um, to describe to you how scary that was. Literally texting her family goodbyes, making a video for her kid. I'm not sure if we're going to make it. White knuckling it until they made an emergency landing in Virginia. To reach your parking position. Um, some paramedics will enter the aircraft to uh, give assistance to some injured passengers. After a hospital stop, she was able to make it to Greece and her daughter's volleyball game, but she's cutting her trip short as she's still in pain. Literally, I've been in tears half of the day, and then as I get close, I get more anxiety, like, Lord, am I going to make it to Austin? A night of anxious anticipation and some reflection. And so the first thing people will say is, well, that's why you should buckle up. There were people buckled up. There were people not buckled up that got hurt and still not just physically, but psychologically, mentally, emotionally. This is traumatizing. Um, there, there's no exaggeration of that. When you see your life flash before you, that's traumatizing. So I just hope people lead with empathy and humanity.